first of all, in terms of uh, Paris. Um, thoughts on that? Any, any, you're a policy guy. What do we do now? Well, it's obviously a horrible, coordinated terrorist attack. Um, we have to see this for what it is. Uh, this is a war, and they've brought it to us, and so the question is, how do we finish it? Um, it's important we get all the facts. I've, I've asked for a classified briefing from the administration for all members of Congress as they return today from in, in session. So we're still learning more, but what's very clear is ISIS is not a remote danger in a far-off land, and a containment strategy is not enough. That yeah. has completely failed. So what we're seeing, in my opinion, is the consequence of the president's continued reluctance to take this threat fully and seriously. For over a year, we've been asking for an overarching strategy to defeat ISIS. There just simply isn't one. So we can't have the administration avoid this question any longer. The defense bill we just passed, 370 votes in the House, 91 votes in the Senate, um, that bill itself calls for having an overarching plan. It requires the president to present a plan for defeating ISIS, not for containing ISIS, for defeating ISIS. And I, the last point I would make is this, is this calls for American leadership. What about the immigration piece of this? Because uh, I was watching CNN yesterday, and the major worry of some journalists there was that there'd be a backlash. Well, I expect so. People will say, well, why would we let people in who want to blow us up? Well, particularly with the, with the story about the, uh, one of the terrorist attackers who came to yeah. Greece from Syria. So, look, we've always been a generous nation taking, you know, in refugees, um, but this is a unique situation. Um, this is a situation where you have single men coming over, which is not women and children. Yeah. And so yeah. we, what we're doing is I've asked all of the, the committees of jurisdiction in the House to come up with recommendations for how do we immediately address this particular situation. So we're looking at all of our options about how do we make sure that something like this doesn't happen coming here to us with with refugees. And what about, because one of our listeners asked to, uh, to ask you directly, uh, uh, funding, uh, can, can the House do right. something so, about limiting? Yeah, so we have a funding at the end of the year bill. So we're looking at all of these options, which is, look, what matters to me is we don't, we, we do not, not only do we prevent people from coming in, but we don't bring them in. And so right. we've got to make sure that we are protecting ourselves. And so that is what we're looking at is what is the best option, not to just have an issue to talk about, but to actually have a result, which is making sure that we are not complicit or even facilitating of having someone come in who would come to seek us to do us harm from Syria.